Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how you can manage different level of WooCommerce categories like parent, child, grandchild and great grandchild using the WooCommerce category slider pro plugin. This plugin includes all the features to boost your WooCommerce store conversion rate. Without wasting any time, let's get started. Make sure that WooCat slider pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site along with the WooCommerce plugin. You can directly click add new or you can click WooCat slider and then click add new to create a new slider and give it a title. In the general settings, you'll find the options to configure layout preset, slider mode, category columns, category type and more. Since my goal is to show you how you can manage different level of WooCommerce categories, so I will mainly focus on the category type properties. Here category type is selected as parent that means all the parent categories will be displayed in the slider. So let's see how it looks in the live preview. Click show preview and you can see this is how the parent category slider display in the live preview. You can also filter the categories by specific and exclude. Select specific filter to choose particular categories to display in the slider. Using the exclude filter, you can exclude any category that you don't want to display in the slider. When you select category type as parent and child, you will get a few new properties like parent and child, display type and exclude labels. First one is parent and child. When you click on the box, you will see the list of your created categories is showing sequentially maintaining the category levels. Men is the parent category here. Men's accessories and men's clothing are its child categories. Pants and t-shirts are men's grandchild categories. And crew neck style and v neck styles are men's great grandchild categories. I have already shown you how to show parent category. Now let me show you how you can display child categories. So select the child categories that you want to display in the slider and update the preview to see the changes. So you can see this is how the child category slider is displaying in the live preview. Similarly you can show the grandchild and great grandchild categories in the slider as well. Let's select the grandchild categories and update the preview to have a look at the grandchild category. Do the same for the great grandchild category and display it in the live preview. Now let's see how to exclude different level of WooCommerce categories. So first let's create a slider with all the categories I have in my WooCommerce store. To do that leave the field empty or you can select your desired categories and then you can exclude them one by one. So let's select first. So now if you want to exclude the great grandchild categories from the above selected categories so what you have to do is check the box and update the preview to see the changes. You will see the great grandchild categories are not showing in the category slider. Similarly, you can exclude grandchild, child and parent category as well. So let's keep the parent category unchecked and exclude the child and grandchild categories and update the preview. You can see only the parent and grandchild categories are showing in the live preview. So that's all about managing and organizing your WooCommerce categories. You can stylize them in different layout presets like slider, grid and block. Go to the display options to configure the category content position from below content, above content, right content, left content and overall the content. Check the box to make the slider card style and show head the category icon, category name, product count, description and custom tags. Configure the shop now button related properties from here. So I have hide the product count and description. So now if I update, you will see the description and product count is not showing anymore. Go to the thumbnail settings to configure the category thumbnails related properties. Like you can select shape, border, box shadow, margin, zoom and image mode effect. Let's see how the rounded shape looks like in the live preview. So update the preview and you can see this is how the round shape category slider display in the live preview. Go to the slider controls to configure the autoplay, navigation and pagination related properties. If you want to change the category text related properties then go to the typography settings. Suppose you want to change the category name font. So what you have to do is turn it on and choose a category name font family from 900 plus google fonts. So I am selecting Roboto and if you want you can change the font color as well. So I am changing it to blue and now if I update the preview you can see the font color and font family has been changed to Roboto. Finally publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode from here. 
go to a page where you want to display it insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcut block publish the page and view it so you can see this is how the category slider is showing in the web pages that's all about today in the upcoming videos i'll come up with another feature of the plugin until then take care